Hi guys, it's Rick Shields down here at Quest Golf Studio here in Lytham, and I want to tell you how you can hit your long irons better. Give you some advice about long irons and also give you some tips to help you hit your long irons much better. I know a lot of golfers will be comfortable up to about a seven iron, but then from six, five, four, and three irons, they're, they're just derelict now. They really struggle with hitting low lofted long irons. And it's more about changing the mindset of how to hit these irons than really changing an awful lot about technique. With a pitching wedge up to seven iron, you can, you can hit down on the ball. You can depart a downward blow and the ball, there's enough loft on the face with enough speed to pop that ball up in the air, there is. But as you start to get longer into the set, as you start to get into your lower lofted clubs, it's important that we don't hit down too much. Then as we get into our hybrids and our three woods hitting level is ideal, then into driver hitting more on the way up. And this is why mainly the ball position will change in a player's stance. As a pitching wedge and, and sand wedge in the middle of the stance and a driver slightly closer to the left heel, it is very, very important that you don't have the lower lofted club too far back in your stance, too, too much in the middle. So my first piece of advice is making sure that you aim to have the ball inside your left armpit with the four iron. So this is a long iron, this is a four iron. This can, this can go with five iron, four iron and three iron is my advice on this. Just inside the left armpit. Not quite inside left heel, but much closer to left armpit than what you would play traditional pitching wedge or, a, or even a mid iron is just in front of center. So that is really mega important. The other important factor is knowing that we're not, we don't want to hit down we want to hit with much more of a, of a level hit, or even some of you may feel like it's more of a hit on the way up. Because as soon as we hit downward with a low lofted iron, we de-loft it, we, we don't gain enough loft to get the ball airborne, and then other faults start to creep in because of that. So, if you've got a swing that's traditionally a little bit steeper and hitting down, this drill in itself will get you hitting the ball more on the inside anyway, and more on the way up. It's a slightly daunting tip at first, but if you can execute it, it you're a flying machine. So let me just hit, I'm gonna hit a shot first with a four iron when I hit too far down. So I'm gonna purposely hit down into this. I'm gonna have the ball position forward, but I'm gonna hit really down into the back of the ball. Now, what I'm fortunate enough there is I've hit the ball hard enough to make it still go forward. If that speed wasn't there, we would not be able to have hit that ball far enough. And that's why hybrids are really popular because they help getting the ball up in the air. That was me hitting way down. If I hit more on the way up this time, so level slash more on the way up, like I'm trying to sweep the ball off the surface and ideally not really take any, any grass at all, I'm hardly gonna take a single bit of divot you'll see a very different ball flight, much higher. And I'm not gonna hit this any, I'm gonna actually hit this a little bit softer. And the ball just pops up into space. I've not hit it very straight, but I've hit it clean. Popped up into space, and I promise you, I didn't hit a single blade of mat there. So, I've got a tip for you. I want you to go next time you get opportunity, either at the driving range or on the grass tee, to hit some long iron shots off what would almost be seen as a driver sized tee. Scary, I know, scary, I know. But it'll give you the correct feeling. Instead of hitting down, you'll hit more level, slash slightly up, and then we just need to translate that same feeling back onto the mat. If you can hit it successfully off a big tee, you will start to eradicate that really steep downswing you'll start changing your downswing to allow you to hit cleaner. It's amazing what, you, honestly, a high T with an iron, it, I've seen so many swing changes because of this simple, t simple trick. So tee it up like a driver, scary I know. Set the ball position up just inside your left armpit, but then hover the club. So hover the club so it's sat pretty much in line with the ball. And I want you to aim to sweep the ball off the tee without really hitting the tee peg. So try and almost sweep it off the tee, almost without hitting the tee peg. Obviously I've hit it on that occasion, but get the feeling like you're not, almost not going to hit it. It will feel strange to a lot of players at first if they've been too used to hitting down, 
but the difference is phenomenal. When you get it right, the difference is phenomenal. So a T height that is like a driver. Hover the club. Ball inside your left armpit. And aim to really sweep it on the way up off that T. Like you're trying to hit up. Then, slowly but surely, either lower that T peg down. So I'm going to go for a slightly... A slightly lower T peg this time. Either lower that T peg down and do the same drill, or start to do it straight off the floor. When you're used to that drill, then hit it off the floor. When you're used to that drill, hit it off the floor. Same idea, like you're hitting off a massive tee peg. And you'll hit the ball with a long iron, ridiculously cleaner, much higher. You would have all, you would have started to change your downswing angle because if you get too steep, you cannot accomplish this. You'll be amazed how much better you hit your long irons. Pre-warning, <laughs> if you don't consciously try and hit it clean off that big tee, you're going to hit the roof. Be, be warned of that. Make sure you're very, very um, conscious of the, of the difference of feeling. It's going to be quite a big feel difference, but you'll be surprised how much better it is. This goes for 5-iron, 4-iron, 3-iron, 2-iron, 1-irons. If you're trying it with a 1-iron, good luck. Guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed the little tip and help you hit your long irons better. If you do like the video, click like. Comment below, let us know how it works out for you guys. Subscribe by clicking the big button here, and we'll see you next time helping you improve your golf a little bit more each time. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you soon.